Hey guys, the Horror Man back with another cover art comparison video. And you should have been expecting this one. This time I've selected Army of Darkness. If you watched my entire Evil Dead collection video that I posted yesterday, you might have noticed that I'm not including all of the editions that I own. I decided to only include releases that have noticeably different cover art. Sure, some of the differences are subtle, but they're there. Starting on the top row and working my way from left to right, we have the HD DVD combo pack, then we have the Universal DVD, then the Canadian Universal DVD release, which has a slightly different color tone, and then a two disc limited edition from Anchor Bay, and then the Walmart exclusive slipcover art with the green color tone, and then finally at the end of the top row we have the theatrical cut from Anchor Bay. In the middle row, starting at the left, we have the VHS released by Universal. Then we have the Screwhead Edition DVD, the Screwhead Edition Blu-ray, the Collector's Edition from Scream Factory with the alternate poster art. Then we have the Pop Art exclusive, and then the Anchor Bay Theatrical Cut VHS tape. And finally in the middle row, we have the Limited Edition Anchor Bay Director's Cut. And now on the bottom, we have Bruce Campbell vs. Army of Darkness, the official bootleg edition of the Director's Cut from Anchor Bay. Then we have Bruce Campbell vs. Army of Darkness, the Boomstick Edition. Then we have the Scream Factory Steelbook, the Scream Factory newly commissioned artwork on the slipcover. Then we have the Region 3 MGM DVD release of the International Cut. And finally, the Limited Edition Director's Cut from Anchor Bay. For me, I absolutely have to go with the Anchor Bay Limited Edition Director's Cut, which is bottom row literally the last one. I love that artwork so much. Maybe even the VHS. I like how it says a widescreen presentation at the bottom. That's what I'm going to go with. I'm going to go actually with the Anchor Bay Limited Edition Director's Cut VHS in that gold case. It says widescreen presentation across the bottom. I love that image of Ash. I love how he's, he's all jacked. Like, look how muscular he looks. <laughs> Doesn't look like that in the movie or in real life, but it's pretty cool anyway. So, which cover art do you prefer? Comment below and let me know.